I'm out to accomplish a lot of things and I want to have a voice in hip hop. I want to have a voice. I want to be able to speak and people listen. So when I get to that certain level where I'm going to be able to speak and people are going to listen, then I'm going to tell my side of the story. Other than that, you know, people are going to pass judgment. They're going to say what they want to say and they're going to make their own, own conclusions or whatever, you know, and they're more than welcome to do it. Hey, yo, my album is out today. Go buy it. I'm nobody. Go get my album. You and your album. I love it. Hi, my name is, my name is, Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Slim Shady is like my introduction to the world. Slim Shady is gonna be the record that like promotes the album before it comes out and like gets it up to where it needs to be. You know what I mean? For me to like establish my following throughout the world. You know what I mean? It's like just don't give a f it was like a record that was just kind of thrown out there for the underground, establish that, build the foundation, and then take my name is, take it up here. You know what I mean? Music is part image, but Overall, music is music. Music is, 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 is not visual, you know what I'm saying? You hear music, you listen to music. When it boils down to it, it's what the person is saying. It's just, music is just like football or, or any sport. If you're good at it, you're good at it, and it don't care what color you are, what you look like, or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? If you're good, you're good. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. And you ain't gonna make it, you know? And if you do, if you got what it takes, then you're gonna make it. You know, Slim Shady won't, obviously. You know. I'm a failure, but. <laughs> My debut album, nobody knew what to expect from me. There was no, there was no expectations of me. It was like, I just came out and it was like, I kind of maybe hit people off guard. You know what I'm saying? And there wasn't anything to live up to besides my underground fans, you know? Um, there wasn't any expectations to, to live up to to the world, so I kind of just came out, did what I do. Now people may be wondering what I'm gonna do next, you know what I'm saying, and they just gotta wait and see. The whole message behind the Marshall Mathers LP is just to show people that I'm just like them, like, you know what I'm saying? I never knew that I was gonna get this big. I never knew, um, I never knew any of this was gonna happen to me. I would say if anything, it's more, you know, the first album was, was, was a lot of uh, punchline-y, you know, ha ha ha, you know what I'm saying, everything is funny, whatever, you know. But uh, this album, I think, is on a more, a little more serious vibe to it, you know. And I would say it's me telling it like it is to the third power. I'm here for the fans. I'm here for everybody who understands me and, 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 and relates to me. And anybody who don't can kiss my ass. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care! I really learned to calm down, you know what I'm saying? And assess the situation, you know, and realize that, you know, this is this is what I'm doing and this is my job. And, you know, I can't, if I let fame get the best of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna self-destruct and I don't wanna self-destruct. You know, I have a little girl at home that I gotta see her hit 40. I do my music, I don't try to compromise my style or, or, or my voice, you know, uh, for anybody. You know, I got a voice, I want to, I got an opinion, I want to voice it, you know. I think that some people are a little bit too uptight and take things a little bit too serious. And I think that uh, just to let, to let me get to them, you know what I'm saying, who am I? Why you let me get to you, you know? Eminem is the rapper, Slim Shady will kill you, and Marshall Mathis is the person, like, behind the whole, you know, mask or whatever. That's the way I see it. This record came out and it blew up enormously and you've sort of been embraced by the mainstream. Do you feel you've finally gotten the respect that you've deserved all along? Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. You know, it's, it's always going to be mixed with, with every artist that comes mm -hmm. out. You know, you're going to feel hate, you're going to feel love. And in the areas where I feel like I need to feel it, I'm feeling it. So, yeah. is, it uh, is it weird for you to be out with a record that's not, you know, no one's like freaking out or protesting you? It's just sort of like we love Eminem? Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. Is, it, is it possible to sell 8 million records and still be really, really angry? It is. Of course it is. I mean, if you mean to the effect of I've sold a lot of records and now I've got a lot of money and I've made a name for myself or whatever so I should be satisfied, that's not true because now it's not even about the money. It's about, it's about music. If I sold 100 million records, 
and had all the money in the world, I would still love to do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I still wouldn't quit what I'm doing just because, okay, I'm, I'm not in this for the money. And I said that in the yeah. beginning and I'll still say that to the day I die. Eight Mile was, was a movie. So it was, it, you know, it was Hollywood, but it was, um, you know, we couldn't make it to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there was any control, any control that I had, like any say in it that I had, like my, my first say was that I insisted that it be shot here. And they had to reach a happy medium where it had to be just like some of the, some of the instances in Eight Mile were like stories that really happened. Some of them were fabricated to make it look, you know, to make it more interesting. Still the necessity of the, like the intensity of, of, of the battle and there was nothing to hype up. That's how intense it was. You had the number one movie and the number one album in the country at the same time. Your soundtrack was two weeks out and it was still number one and the movie was number one. Did you expect everything to do that well? I don't, you know what? I don't um, focus too much on that. If I do, like, I stay in the studio, I keep working, you know. It doesn't matter if the movie did nothing or it did a hundred thousand million. It doesn't matter. Like, I stay working just like how, you know, uh, Rakim and Run DMC influenced me. And I can tell you how they did. You would have to ask the other rappers coming up ten years from now. I want to influence them or whatever. Because I don't know if people actually, the average listener, I don't know if they actually see what I, what it is or hear the patterns and syllable rhyming and stuff like that. I don't know if they really catch that. Like, I think they just listen and like appreciate it for the, the beat and what it's saying. But there's a certain way that it's said that I write that Red Man writes, that uh, Jay-Z, that Nas, they craft, they craft it down to the very last detail that I don't know, and make it look easy. So the average listener may think it's easy, but the truth is that everybody would be doing that if, if it was so easy. I don't always know my next move, and I'm surprised people didn't catch on sooner with the Encore album that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm taking a bow. So, so is this your last album? Um, I don't know. Is it your last you know? tour? Uh, don't know. I, I really don't know. See, the, the, these are all moves that I can't, I can't tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tour forever. I'm gonna rap forever. I'm gonna always have, I'm gonna always have music in my blood. On this day, now when you look forward to the future, what is it that you dream about doing now? What do you aspire to do? Basically, just keep hip hop moving, man. Just keep it, you know, after me, after after 50, at, you know what I'm saying? Like this build for the next generation of um, hip hop. Just make it keep expanding. Like if if my contribution to this game is is that that 40 some year old person walking up to me saying, "Yo, you you made me like hip hop." You know what I'm saying? If, if I get that one person or whatever that says, since I listen to you, you turn me on to rap. Now nah, I went and bought, you know, Nelly's album. I went and bought, you know what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z's album, whatever my contribution, if, if, if it's that, then so be it. Whatever it is, it's, it's to, to, to help the growth of hip hop, to help keep expanding it and, and build it.